Hi viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel. I am Kishana Prayers Hutchinson and I have an urgent message to deliver. First and foremost, I am going to say a short prayer before I go into my message because I don't want to take away from my message at all or stray away from the point. I just want to get to the point as quickly as possible. Father, we thank you tonight and I thank you for allowing me to do your will. I pray, O oh God, that you will bless your people. Allow them to have attentive ears, O oh God, as they hear and listen, as they not only hear but to take heed, O oh Father God, according to your words, Lord God Almighty, that they will understand that this is no joke, Lord, that, Father God, they need to pay attention to what is happening in the name of Jesus. I pray for your mercies and your protection right now, God, and I pray that you will cover me and cover this platform and everyone on it now. In your name I pray. Amen. So guys, um, I got a vision a few weeks ago and I had already shared it on my Facebook page and I am also encouraged and I've gotten the conviction in my spirit time and time again and I have to, I must, I need to and this is what I am going to do now. And I want you all to pay attention. This is not even edited. I am just giving it to you as it is. I am not coming to pretty up anything. I'm just going to tell you all as it is because I've already gotten it from God that my purpose is to give his words and to do my part in spreading the gospel as I am required to because that's what I have to do as a servant of God. And I want people to listen and to understand that this is no joke and this is no assignment that I am being paid to do, but I have to carry out God's work. Listen, I got a, I got a vision a couple of weeks ago and shortly after I got that vision, an earthquake struck in Haiti, in the land of Haiti. So in my vision, I was sleeping. While sleeping, that's when I got the vision. It was a regular day for us at the park, and I was at the park with my family. We were just having a regular day. And trust me, I kid you not, I was looking across from where we were sitting. It was like we were just sitting and enjoying the weather. It was nice and sunny. It was a beautiful day out. And there was an Asian family. And I noticed that the mother was saying something to the child. As if to protect the child from something. Or just really, just, just naturally just reprimanding a child as a parent would or whatever. And... It was as if it's in the future because I realized that there was a flying vehicle in the air, in the sky, yes. And when I saw that flying vehicle, then I saw a police vehicle also in the sky. I'm not sure if it was chasing it because I've had this vision a while. And those who, if you're watching from, if you're watching this live, if you're watching this and... It's not alive and I won't edit this. If you're watching and you have seen me deliver this message already on my Facebook, you know that I am not lying. For those who have seen this message on my Facebook, I have had a live stream on my Facebook. So when I saw the police car, like as if to chase, it started to chase the other vehicle in the sky and the sky just all of a sudden went crazy. And Oof, right like that in front of my eyes all hell started to break loose listen people were running all over the place I remember there was one particular person from my community in my homeland Jamaica I saw her people were running people were looking for places to hide people were running away from so many things happening it was like a lot of activities happening and it was it was a dangerous change it wasn't a positive one people were unable to save their children people just scattered in all different parts various parts of the land and listen 
God sends his people to warn. God never does anything without a warning. And I am here to encourage somebody to pay attention to the signs of the times because the end draw at night. As I said in my video before on Facebook, I am no magician, but we ought to pay attention. I'm no magician. I'm not getting paid for this. And I don't know when the end is, but if we look at even the atmosphere, it has changed right we need to be focused and keep our spiritual eyes open because god is warning there's a lot of people with different visions he has showed us in many different ways and people are still not taking heed i don't care who wants to think that i come here today to preach impending doom i am not a preacher First and foremost, I am only doing my Christly assignment that is required of me as God. And when I got that vision, I have something said to me, share this. And I pushed it out of my thoughts because I don't want to go and share that because I don't want to be the one giving anyone any impending doom messages. And of course, I couldn't even wake my husband. I was only able to say a brief prayer. And when I said that brief prayer, no. Then I was led to call my mom and when I called her the very same thing I pushed out of my mind before she told me to do she said Kim that's my pet name for those who don't know she said Kim you have to share this people get these visions and people are sharing it you have to share and that was the confirmation that the very same thing I wasn't I, I, I didn't want to do I was shying away from. I had to do that was the confirmation and I want to read a scripture from Matthew to somebody who doesn't believe they're not my words but the Bible warns us the Holy Bible this is what I read this is where I get comfort from the Holy Bible when I get the chance to read I make it my my point of duty to read this book and to share it as much as possible as I can with my children because this book you can never finish reading it you can never rely on your own understanding while reading it but this has all the answers I said it before if you're looking for answers you can turn to this it has everything in there I am going to read from Matthew because after I couldn't do anything that day, I had to cancel all of my engagements. I was so burdened and I only got a little ease from when I shared the message on my Facebook page. That's when I got a little release. So indeed it was for me to share it, not to keep it for myself. And I have been, in, I have been my spirit. It has been pricking me in my spirit to share it with you all also on this medium and that's what I'm doing I am doing just that so I'm begging somebody if you have here as the scripture says those who have ears let them hear this comes from Matthew 24 Matthew 24 and I'm just gonna read parts of it and it tells us that it's not my word listen I said I got this vision before 80 had its earthquake. I never knew anything. I don't have no connections in 80 whatsoever. And after I got this vision and I shared it, then 80 got a earthquake. Mexico has always also gotten a 7.0 earthquake. There are various disasters around the world. So I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying here, somebody. Matthew 24, it says signs of the end of this age, this one that we are in now. Chapter 6 says, I'm moving down to chapter 6 because of time. I want to emphasize and to show, bring my point across to somebody. Matthew 6 says, and e, 24 verses 6 says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, glory to God, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse 
places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Listen to me. You see for somebody who is listening, you see and you've heard what is happening in Afghanistan. People are trying to gather their families and flee the country. The Taliban's have taken over. So what that tell you, it is here in the Bible. It just spoke of nation rising against nation. The Taliban's rose against the Afghanistans. Long time we are hearing about famines. My sister's grandmother, Mayor Souls, rest in peace. She was confined to a wheelchair. And she used to send me as a little girl to gather the tambourines. I don't know who know of tambourine. If you're Jamaican and other parts of the world, you, you look up tambourine on the internet. If you don't know, Google it. Tamarind is a sour brown looking, um, I have to say it's like a fruit and it can be eaten and when you have it, it gives you a, it's a tingly, has a tingly taste, but it's very enjoyable and when you enjoy it, you can also drink water after because sometimes that tingly taste and if you have too much, you want water to get rid of the taste somewhat to where it makes you thirsty sometimes. That's my experience from eating it. As a child, my sister's grandmother warned me of famines. I didn't understand. I was just a little girl. And she had a big tambourine tree in her yard. And she used to send me to pick them up. As I say, she was confined to a chair. And when I used to pick them up, there's some tall buckets. And she, she washed those buckets potless and dried them. And we picked the tambourines because tambourines are in like a shell. And when we break it from the shell, you see what's inside. The tambourine it reveals itself. And we placed those in the buckets, lots and lots of them. And she placed the sugar, the brown sugar that's made from the sugar cane in Jamaica with the molasses in those pans and it shut tight and you know what she was preparing for famine she spoke to me about famine that was coming glory to god that lady has been passed on gone she warned me about the viper generation we're seeing them now children parents cannot talk to children children are acting like they're the parents and the parents are the children there's a viper generation she warned me about that too she warned me about famine she told me about the times when the police won't be able to protect us we are now living in that time so i'm telling you that these things are real nine going back to the scripture from nine then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and he shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake when you're christian and you're safe serving god you shall be hated for his name's sake that's the way they're gonna use to try to get you to deny christ almighty Number 10, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Jesus. Mm. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You see how much we're going to come upon? We don't see nothing yet. But I'm warning you that something is coming. We have to be ready. We have to be prepared to meet our Savior. Listen, we are living in the midst of a pandemic. And it's not only the pandemic that is taking people's lives. People are just dying in their sleep. Children Children are dying, leave their parents, healthy, strong children dying. Look here. The times have changed. Parents are now burying their children. Parents can cannot save their children. Everyone is going to be a time where it's every man for himself. We are in these times right now. Look up. These are the times to look up. Glory to God. 14 says. 
this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come why hasn't God made the end yet though we are seeing these signs because there are witnesses that he needs in the various nations which he has created who still doesn't believe that God is real listen to me Christianity is more than just a religion Christianity is God's way of getting his people to be on the same path many nations but we are one under God that we shall love God and be of God's we have ways possessing the ways of God Almighty the same way he sent Jesus Christ to serve us remember Jesus was very humble and lowly he was the one above us but he didn't act that way God was always humble and he sent his son humbly to die for us to pay for man's redemption and so that we can have life and have life more abundantly but we have fallen off track we are not even paying attention to that we take our own lives for granted listen if you don't notice the pandemic people are dying as a result of the pandemic and many have already died since the start of it i know people are dying of other diseases people have been dying children have been dying a long time ago from hunger so there are so many things that are happening and I'm telling you these things are no joke they are all summing up it's coming down to a time where we're going to have to make a choice we have to make that choice your husband cannot make that choice for you your wife cannot make that choice for you your mother cannot make that choice for you your friends cannot make that choice for you your father cannot make that choice for you your siblings cannot make that choice for you your boss cannot make that choice for you it's a soul decision God also tells us in his words that he gives us the straight and narrow path and there's the wide road to destruction. It is up to you which one you choose because man looketh on the outward appearance but God looketh on our hearts. So we have to focus our attention. Listen, those who are doing wickedness, the sorcerers, the wicked, the witches, the ones that are building up evil altars, demonic altars, the ones that are looking through crystal balls and trying to destroy people's marriages people's family people's livelihood listen your time and your end is going to be very devastating you need to repent and you need to not be mixing in these ungodly hateful evil things because what some people don't understand when you do wrong and evil you will that that will reflect on you and that will follow you and if you have children that is going to follow the children as well. So be careful what you do. We need to live and love each other now and pay attention because God is watching. God is just watching in his corner when to move because we don't determine when he moves because he is God all by himself. No, they am coming down to 15 and it says when he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place whoso readeth let him understand then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains let him which is on the host up not come down to take anything out of his house neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days mm. The scripture is telling us that it's going to be hard for mothers, especially if they're impregnated. It's going to be hard for mothers when you're pregnant because how can you run with a child? I told you in the vision, people are fleeing. People had to be moving away from their present places they're running for refuge in some places that they don't even know of refuge being but because the mind of a human being when we see things happening naturally we just want to move and keep moving and to try to find some place of refuge listen take heed the signs of the times are here 
And that is my message. That's my agenda today. I have a responsibility because I will not let God ask me what I've been doing. And when he has given me the visions, what have I done to share with his people and to save even one from perishing? God's will is not for us to perish. Why do you think that God has not yet put in his appearance? It's because somebody's out there that need to change their lives. My prayer for my family, my extended family, family and my family is to find God, those who have not yet found him because I have found him. Yes, I sin even in my thoughts, but I repent to him because I know that we sin in our thoughts when we're sleeping and we dream. Sometimes we don't know what we're dreaming, but we are sinning sometimes in our thoughts. And I pray for my family that those who doesn't know God, they will find him because we have to cover ourselves under God that when he puts in him, his appearance we will be saved listen if you're on earth you were created to praise god and if you're on earth and wasting time and not praising god he will tell you when he comes depart from me i know you not he said how can you hate your brothers and sisters who you can see but love him who you can't see we are in trouble if we practice those things so listen to me pay attention Pay attention. Hallelujah. These are the things I want to say. Pray he that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Remember the Bible always tells us the Sabbath day is holy. Excuse me. And the winter for those of us like myself who lives in a country that has snow times. Winter time now. No summer is gone. It's going to winter now. I have to saddle up. We have to prepare because snow is around the corner. The Bible tells us that we should pray that our flight doesn't be in that time because the winter is rough. There's no, there's worse. There's not going to be any place for you to hide because of the winter. Come on, somebody. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. In the essence of time, I want you to read Matthew 24 and you will see some of what I am talking to you about. Listen up. I also want to share from Matthew 25 verses 31. This is the judgment. Mm. 31 says, when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. This is after all that happens and God puts in his appearance and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come he, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come he, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So we have to be in, we have to, we are in the world, but we cannot be of the world because when we are of the world, we won't have time to think about God. We will want to gain the whole world and lose our soul. The scripture tells us what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul. Now it is telling you that after when it's judgment day now and God comes now after all these terrible things have happened, if we live through it, and they, those who die, they will also face judgment day. And he says, when you know, there's always a difference. Jesus Christ sits on the right side of the throne, of God's throne in heaven. So you see the right side and the right hand is no mistake. When you're in church and they pray, they say, raise your right hand because it's associated with God. So you see, he will tell you that when he separates us, he will place his sheep on the right and the goats on the left, right? I'm not leaning on my own understanding, but what I believe is that the sheep will be the chosen ones that have lived and followed and studied his statutes and live by his word. Those will go and he say to inherit the kingdom prepared for you 
from the foundation of the world. Glory to God. For I was a hungry and he gave me meat. I was thirsty and he gave me drink. I was a stranger and he took me in. Naked and he clothed me. I was sick and he visited me. I was in prison and he came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him saying, Lord, when shall we see, when saw we thee a hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When shall we see thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked or clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? Glory to God. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, he have done it unto me. Glory to God. I will leave right here now. We have a responsibility as Christians to visit even those behind bars. It is not our responsibility to judge them. It is not up to us to chastise them. We have a responsibility to play, to go and visit them. When your neighbor asks you for bread, do not say no, come tomorrow, I will give you. Find that bread if you have it and give it to them. If your enemy asks you for a drink of water, you are to give it to them you know your enemy you cannot allow your enemy to feed you to you will not eat from your enemy but if your enemy needs food you know you give your food to that enemy so that they can be saved because that's how you show love that you are of love of jesus christ and that is what god says in his words it wasn't him definitely jesus christ but for the mere fact that he sees people which are our brothers and sisters in christ you all you did it to them you also do it to him so i want you to pay attention somebody pay attention there is not two ways there's not three ways to heaven or multiple ways listen you see what is happening in the world there's only one way to heaven one way to heaven and that is through jesus christ believe it or not you ought to open up your spiritual eyes and i am warning you this is my warning to you society come out of the world and be in the world but not of the world you have to be separated from the world be a royal priesthood build a relationship with god today pray repent cleanse your heart that you shall be saved that your life will not be left in hell your soul will not be in hell burning in eternal fire but rather in heaven living an eternal life listen the mark of the beast is already here i get these visions to share not to keep to myself the mark of the beast is already here rumors of wars are dear nations against nations that is imminent that is imminent People are against each other. People are hating one another more than love. The hearts of, the, of, of mankind have become desperately wicked. What more do you want to hear? What more do you want to see that it is high time that you find God? God, you cannot see him, but he is dear and he's waiting. He has a chosen few. He says many are called, but few are chosen. Listen, do not labor in vain. God gives us wisdom use your wisdom look around you i had a conversation with a lady in my work the other day she said to me i have never seen anything like this from i'm born and that lady could have been my mother two times listen people open up your spiritual eyes please we cannot be saved by the trends that are going on we cannot be saved by the multimedia that we have on our phones we cannot be saved by the amount of money inside of our bank accounts we cannot go anywhere with them once we die do not spend time store up treasures on earth which are temporal earth is temporal but heaven is eternal focus your 
attention on living a life that is pleasing to God, that when he comes, you will be spotless, that he doesn't say, depart from me, I know you not. Focus the things that are happening in the world. They are devastating. They are frightening, but the Bible warns us of them. So when we see these things, we have to look up because God is going to put in his appearance anytime. Mark you, his angels doesn't know when he's coming. I don't know when he's coming, but I know that I have a responsibility to share the word because he's coming again. He is coming. He said in his words, if it wasn't so, he would not have told us so. He is gone. He has ascended into heaven after he has risen from the dead to go and prepare a place for you and for me. So it's up to you if you want to be in this world and forget and gain the whole world and lose your one precious soul that God has given to you. God's God's plan for us is not for us to perish as his children, as his creation, but for us to for us to have everlasting life. So the reason why God has not come yet is because there are still witnesses that he needs to hear the word. That when God comes, you cannot say, Oh, I didn't hear, because he says. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. I leave you with these words and this is an urgency that you need to take heed and run wherever you are. Run to God for rescue. Repent right now because the end draweth nigh. I bless you. I thank you for listening. I pray that you will share these words with somebody. I have did, I have I have not edited this and I will not edit it. And I did it on purpose not to edit. I want these words to reach the ears of somebody who needs to hear. Listen and take heed. The time is now. Get ready and right with God. No. God is real, though you can't see him. He knows what is going on. You might think or be saying that if there's a God, why he allows these things to happen. But listen, my God that I serve, give the evil man his time to reign. But he says when he's ready, he will step in and he will do what he can do because he is above all. So don't you belittle his power or his sovereignty. God is God all by himself. Focus your attention on him and cover yourself under his umbrella because God has a plan. Just like how these government officials have plans for us, God has a bigger plan and be a part of that plan. I tell you, I'm begging you, I'm asking you please to listen. If you have ears, listen, because the end draweth nigh. These things are not happening just by chance or coincidence. It is written in the Bible. So prophecy has to be fulfilled. Listen, look up, and take heed. I leave you with these words. God bless you. I pray that you will listen and take heed.